It is a matter of great urgency, Mr. Holmes, or I would not be troubling you on a Saturday evening. Do sit down. Miss... Uh... Violet Smith. Very well. Miss Smith, you must tell us your matter of great urgency. It is obviously not your health. So ardent a bicyclist must be full of energy. Yes, I bicycle a good deal. Excellent, Watson. The marks on your shoes. Oh, yes. Yes, I nearly fell into the error of supposing you earned a living by typewriting, but of course it is obviously music. This lady is a musician. Yes, Mr. Holmes, I teach music. In the country, I presume. Near Farnham, on the borders of Surrey. But please, let me explain why I am here. My father died some years ago. James Smith, he conducted the orchestra at the old Imperial Theatre. Ah, the old Imperial home. Yeah. Please continue. My mother and I were left without a relation in the world, except for one uncle who went to Africa 15 years ago. About four months ago, in February, we were told there was an advertisement in the Times inquiring for our whereabouts. You can imagine how excited we were. I went at once to the lawyers whose name was given in the paper. Now, this is Miss Violet Smith. The solicitor introduced me to two men, a Mr. Carruthers and a Mr. Woodley. They were on a visit from South Africa. I wish I could tell you your uncle left you a vast fortune, but as I said... He died in extreme poverty. However, I myself am not without means. My mother and I never sought charity. No, nor do I offer it. Job, he wants to give you a job. Miss Smith, I am now a widower with a ten-year-old daughter, young Sarah. She needs a music teacher. I couldn't possibly leave my mother on her own. I will pay you 100 pounds a year. But you obviously accepted. Or you wouldn't be here now. Yes, I accepted the offer. Oh, Mr. Carruthers agreed that I should go home every weekend to my mother in town. So this is one of your weekend visits to London? It is. Tell me about your life at Chiltern Grange. For a while, it was quite perfect. Every Monday morning, I would take the train to Farnham and then bicycle from the station to the house. That was very much better, Sarah. May I try it again? Of course. That's why we're here. It sounds idyllic. It was. What happened to spoil it? A visitor. Mr. Woodley. However did you guess, Mr. Holmes? Miss Smith. I never guess. He arrived and was to stay for a week. One evening, after dinner, uh, Mr. Carruthers had to leave us for a minute to see somebody at the door. A gentleman to see you, sir. That's better. Better? In what way? Better to get the old folk out of the way. I don't regard Mr. Carruthers as old. Who is not young? Like us. Don't 
shield and blue smoke in my face, Mr. Woodley. Oh, I don't believe that for a moment. What don't you believe? When women say they wish you would do something, it generally means the exact opposite. I mean precisely what I say. Will you please leave me alone? No. To tell you the truth, I won't leave you alone. Not until I've said what's in my heart. Whatever do you need? Not very well up to social graces, but I'm prepared to learn. It isn't absurd. I'm asking you to marry me. I mean it. It's from the heart. Money is no problem. I did very well out in South Africa. Whatever you're accustomed to, I can give you better. Better than you're accustomed to. Jewelry, diamonds. You want diamonds? Oh, I can give you diamonds. I don't want diamonds. The idea is ludicrous. You can't blame me for trying. You're very beautiful. Listen. Show that I know how it feels. Just a peck on the cheek. Woodley, will you please stop it? Oh, I told you before about women who say stop it. No! The more they struggle, the more fun it is. <laughs> If I give you my assurance that it will not happen again, for my daughter's sake, will you stay? Yes. I will stay. Thank you. Now, Miss Smith, please, please continue. Yes. There is something else. Mr. Carruthers shows a great deal of interest in me. Oh, he has never said anything. He is a perfect gentleman. But a girl always knows. So I believe. And I assume that these feelings that you sense from Mr. Carruthers are not reciprocated? He is a kind and generous employer. But I am already engaged. Oh, the name of this very fortunate young man is. Cyril Morton. He's an electrical engineer with the Midland Electric Company in Coventry. We're to be married at the end of the summer. We wish you joy. Thank you. But I sense you are frightened. And do not understand why. You seem well capable of protecting yourself. Help me, Mr. Holmes. I am being followed. Followed? By whom? Every Saturday morning, I bicycle from the house to Farnham Station to catch the 1222 to town. There is one very quiet and lonely stretch of road that lies between Charlington Heath on the one hand and the woods of Charlington Hall on the other. Two weeks ago today, I was passing this place when I chanced to look back and saw a man also on a bicycle. But the following Monday, when I returned, he was there again. See. And again last Saturday, and again last Monday. Have you mentioned this to your employer? Yes. And this one? He was following me again. I am extremely busy just now, but I will find time to make inquiries into your case. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. In the meantime, take no step without letting me know. On the following Monday, Holmes found that he had business which detained him in London. So, he dispatched me on the early train to Farnham that I might observe Miss Smith's passage past Charlington Hall. 
The setting was just as she had described, heavily wooded on the side bordering the hall and utterly exposed on the other. I selected the only available cover and waited. You should have been in the bracken on the other side of the door. Oh no, you really have done too much with that. He goes back to the hall and you come all the way back to London to call on a house agent. Well, I found the information I was seeking. You found the name Williamson, which conveys nothing to my mother. So, what have we gained by your expedition? The fact that the girl's story is true. I never doubted that. The hall is tenanted by a man called Williams. Who is the better for that? I shall go back tomorrow. We can do nothing useful until set. beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Brothers. It is a new piece. I need to practice it more. No, I don't mean the music. I thought I saw Mr. Woodley in the garden today. You did. He's staying in the area. But do not worry. I have told him quite firmly he's not to set foot inside the house. A letter from Miss Violet Smith. Dear Mr. Holmes, you will not be surprised to learn that I will be leaving Mr. Carruthers' employment on Saturday. Yes. Look here. All my troubles will be over on Saturday. Tomorrow, Holmes. All her troubles will be over. So why did you bring your revolver? I'm talking about my hope, not my expectation. Yes, What? I fancy that is our Miss Smith. It's abduction. What's it? It's abduction. Murder. Heaven knows what. Where is Miss Violet Smith? The house. They didn't go to the house. They went this way to the left. Are you sure? Hard as much as John and Violet have consented together in holy wedlock. No. And have witnessed the same before God and this company. She's my wife! No. She's your widow. I told you what I'd do if you molested her! By the Lord, I'm a man of my word! Drop that pistol. Watson, pick it up! I have no more violence. Who are you to be giving these orders? Sherlock Holmes. Here, you. Sir? Give this note to the superintendent of the police station. In the meantime, I must detain you all under my own personal custody. Miss Smith's very well, considering the way she's been treated. Under no circumstances can she be considered his wife. Are you sure? A forced marriage is no marriage. Indeed, it is a very serious felony. Now, while we are waiting for the police, Mr. Carruthers, tell me your story. You told the girl her uncle died in poverty. Whereas he was still alive and a wealthy man. So, knowing she was the next of kin and that you would share the plunder. I was due a share for services rendered. And Carruthers, you made the mistake of falling in love with her. The first time that ever I knew what love was, Mr. Holmes. Why didn't you tell her of the danger she was in? Played cards for her. Splendid, didn't you say? There is more splendor yet to come.